Hey there, welcome to Unman Runner. In today's vlog, I'm going to talk about the kit I'm going to wear in the Zurich Marathon 2022. Let's talk about the shoes first. So I'm going to run in these, the On Running Cloud Boom Echo. Now, On Running are headquartered in Zurich. I had wanted to run a marathon in those. And so, I mean, look, put two and two together. Um, so I'm really looking forward to running in them. I haven't run a marathon in them. I've run a personal best of 353.10 in ASICs Metaspeed Skies in the last marathon in Buckeye, Arizona. I ran Chicago in the ASICs. I ran a previous marathon in the Nike Alpha Flies, not my favorite uh, shoe. And then I ran two other marathons in the Hoka Carbidex SP, which had a lovely ride and felt great over the marathon. I've had no problems with shoes during the marathon. In fact, I've had no problem with kit during the marathon, one of the reasons why I'm kind of largely sticking with something tried and tested. We're two weeks out from the marathon. The weather is predicted to be, at least on one of the weather channels, about 10 degrees centigrade. Uh, so not that warm, not that cold. Fine for marathon running. Probably for me, I prefer it a little bit warmer. I, I, I tend to like warmer uh, than colder, but it will be fine, but it could rain. If it rains, I'm probably gonna wear the uh, on running rain jacket or weather jacket. Uh, it's a very strange piece of kit. I haven't really reviewed it on the channel. I, I, I absolutely love it. Um, it's lightweight. It looks like it won't give you any protection. And when you put it on, it's so surprising how much protection you get out of it. It's, it's like this magic piece of kit. Um, I haven't really reviewed it. I haven't figured out how to review it, but it's a great piece of kit. So uh, if it rains, I might wear that, but of course I don't want to discard it. Um, it's an expensive piece of kit. So I, I might just end up in a bin liner if it's uh, if it's if the weather's really bad. We'll figure that out. But the vest I'm going to wear is this the Sore Running Race Vest Four. Um, I really like uh, the products that Sore Running make. Um, I've ran the last two marathons. I ran in the Sore Running gear. And I picked the colors, the blue and the green, to kind of go with the green in the shoe. Uh, <laughs> I might be overdoing it. Uh, that's only the start. Uh, but I just. I, I kind of like the idea of, of a, a new out, outfit. I see the outfit? Anyway, <laughs> at each marathon. I know it sounds crazy. Um, in terms of socks, uh, I went with another. I thought I might run in these. These are the sore running socks um, in the same green and blue as it, as is on the uh, top. Um, but I probably won't run in those. I, I ran in a 5K today. They're lovely socks to run in, but they might be just a bit too high for a whole marathon. So. Uh, I'm going to go for this on running. It's their uh, mid sock. It's a really nice, comfortable sock. I, I ran the Chicago Marathon in a pair of these in red, and I had I had considered, I still consider these ones, which is the, um, it's the low sock. There's the mid sock. They're identical apart from the height, but I'm worried about chafing around my ankles. It's been a problem occasionally, and I'm hoping that doesn't happen, so I'm, I'm going to do that. So that's the, <laughs> that's the top and the shoes. So what's happening in the middle? Well, I'm going to wear these. These are the Satisfy running shorts I ran in Chicago. Um, they have two pockets at the side that can take three gels in each pocket. Not well in my experience. I use typically Morton's gels, but if you put three in, they sort of don't feel all that secure. There's a zip pocket at the back, which I find essential for room keys and stuff. Okay, okay, I'm going to be staying in a hotel. If I lose the room key, it's not the end of the world. But there's two little loops of the carboner on this one, and um, there isn't on this one, but you can attach keys if you had cars, etc. They're not as lightweight as I expected, um, strangely. Just the, the, the waist is, it's really complicated what's going on. I'm not quite sure, there's sort of two layers, um, and, and I think the waist is overdone. There's a slot to take the phone in the back, which is important for me. Uh, I ran in Chicago in these, so I, these are race tested. They're very ventilated. There's lots of uh, holes in them. So because when I ran in Chicago, uh, I, I wasn't comfortable putting three gels in each and I would be using three gels uh, or six gels for Morton. So three each side, three caffeine, three non-caffeine. So I ended up running with two in my hands to start off with. And I decided in Zurich, I'm not too worried about an ideal time. So. What I'm, what I'm trying to do is just do a bit of testing. So what I'm actually gonna do is, I think the sponsor on the day, it's, uh, I'm, who is it? It's Power, it's Power, Power Bar, Power Bar, yeah. Power Bar is sponsors. And so I'm gonna have some, I've had Power Bar gels before. I've really enjoyed some of them. So I'm gonna just take two Mortons at the start. And I think the first uh, eight food station where there's gels is, is 
kilometer 14 just after I guess 10 miles so I'll pick those up on the on the way so I only ever have two gels with me and I'll drink whatever's coming along the way I'll have Morton's before I start um, so all of the kit that I have is tried and tested if it's dry but cold I might wear some arm sleeves so these are uh, blue on on running arm sleeves I've got um, I like arm sleeves um, but particularly you know when you heat up in the marathon you can take them off and you can stuff stuff them in the pockets i also have a pair of the, i think they're elite version in black they're super super comfortable but i i really expect that if the weather is okay and i mean sort of okay i'll probably just run in a singlet I mean, you will heat up in the marathon uh, i've found in races before you heat up really quick you can lose heat very quickly afterwards so i'm just going to take a bit of care in Arizona, it was wonderful because, I mean, it started off at six degrees centigrade or, or, or thereabouts, and then it got up to, uh, I think, about 20 when we finished. And for me, that's like perfect because when you stop at the end, you can then just mill around in the sunshine and it's just picking up more farmer town. <laughs> and uh, it was it's great. Um, whereas uh, if you finish, if it's 10 degrees at the finish, then I'll need to be getting into something warm. The hotel is a couple of miles away. So one of those insulated blankets or, or reflective things that, that they hand out at the end of the marathons will probably what I'll do. So I'm looking forward to it immensely. I, I, I hadn't been looking forward. I was just kind of, it was like something that was far away. Uh, the knees are okay. <laughs> that's, that's really good. I uh, have been doing some gut bursts in the park. I raced a nephew. I've been trying to get up to to get some speed and today I ran in the park run. I'm going to do a long video about park runs because I had intended to make a short video like one of these but I enjoyed it so much I'm going to delve into it in greater detail. I, I really really did enjoy the park run but I ran well today. Uh, I did my I, it, the, the watch said I'd do it in 25 minutes. Uh, this watch the course pace too said I'd do it in 25 minutes and 59 seconds and <laughs> so I thought well I'll try and do it in 25. And then um, I did it in 22 and two, two seconds. So, uh, and I, I could have gone quicker, but I paced it quite well. So there is some speed in the old legs. So yeah, it gave me a lot of confidence heading off to Zurich. So that's in two weeks. So there'll be another, I'll do another one of these next week. Not sure what about, we'll figure it out. There's lots of stuff to do to before I get there. But yeah, here we go. Thanks for watching. See you next week.